this here is um naturally, naturally sunny. Um, I got. Well, what you got to show us here today, naturally sunny? This is a beauty berry tree. A beauty berry tree can have some concerns. Most people have reported on dangerous stuff. They have reported stomach issues and all that. You should limit yourself to one type of berry. I'm gonna it's like eat small one. amounts to start. I think is what it said. I'm gonna eat one right here. Nice. It kind of has a non-flavorful taste. Hmm. But Do you mind if I try some, Miss Sunny? Yeah, yeah. Let me pick one out for you. At first, I thought these were poisonous. And so, what did we do? So we looked them up on Google, and we found that out that you can eat these but you just got to limit yourself to what you can eat and how did we look at them as far as making sure that they were the right thing um well i kind of forgot now <laughs> we checked out on the leaves yep and they were the right um type of leaves the right shape yep. and size yep we also looked at the berries to make sure they were the right color yep. and, and they were grouped the right color. appropriately. Yep. Called clusters, right? Yep. And so And there's also another one called a Japanese Bayberry, I think. Yeah. And it um, has It has white uh beauty berries on the same plant, but it the berries are just white. And also they have, I don't know if they have a good taste or something. Because we haven't found any. Yeah. But they did say that they were edible. We didn't research any further to make certain. Yep. Because we haven't any plants to compare here. Yep. Where we're home, house sitting. Yep. And right now his name is Homer the home sitting home, homesteader. It only took about 30 times of me saying that to get it to roll so smoothly. And that's the first time I think you said it. <laughs> Wonderfully naturally sunny. Yep. We also, you can also hear some birds or something up there. Nice. Well, I want to thank you for introducing us to the American beauty berry and the fact that it's edible. Yep. If you want more information, you can use a book on foraging in Texas, as we found on their website, foraging in Texas. Yep. And you can also see our, our last video in Indiana, I think it was, at Mall Homesteaders on Homesteaders. Michigan. Yep, Michigan. And we went foraging there. Right. And there we found some black raspberries, some raspberries, raspberries some mulberries. And I think that was it. So what do you think this foraging is teaching you, Miss Naturally Sunny? I think it's teaching me not to eat things that is poisonous and non-poisonous. And that, how do you find that out first? So you can either look it up on Google or you can ask a parent who knows a lot more about plants and than you do. Anyone before trying something should positively identify the plant using leaf patterns and berries or whatever fruits that it yeah. puts on it and always be cautious and only try a little bit until you know how your body reacts yeah all right naturally sunny you want to get us out of here yep just thought you'd like an update on the property